to build this system we used two GMC uh, LS track ignition coils um, those are called smart coils they have igniters built in and they do work really nice the most obvious question is how does the ECU know about engine whereabouts um, the most common solution is uh, to mount a so-called trigger wheel uh, at the end of the crankshaft and there is a sensor uh, right next to it uh, reading the position of said wheel and feeding that information back to the uh, ECU. Uh, we mounted that trigger wheel uh, at the end of a camshaft. Uh, luckily MicroSquid allows uh, us to do so and it does read uh, the correct information about uh, where the engine is at any given time. Uh, ECU is processing that information and producing the correct amount of pulses at the right time. And this is the arrangement we've engineered. So uh, this is a hull sensor uh, mounting plate or mounting bracket. Um, the black small box, that's the actual uh, miniature hull sensor uh, and it works with a 24 minus 1 trigger wheel uh, made out of mild steel. On the back side of the wheel uh, there is a small uh, protrusion that fits um, in a notch at the end of a camshaft providing correct position of it. The purpose of those two holes is so the builder after installation can inspect and check the clearance between the backside of the mounting plate and the sensor and the trigger wheel. And the recommended air gap is about one millimeter so it is important uh, to inspect and make sure uh, that there is no issue with that. So Mark, how difficult is it to install a system Full disclosure, it's not for the faint of heart. Um, it requires a good understanding of the uh, EFI working principles and, and decent fabrication skills. Um, just to name a few. Um, if something like this scares you, it's not for you. Again, full <laughs> disclosure. Uh, last but not least, the builder needs to be comfortable with, with computer, um, data logging and, and all that jazz. But once completed and tuned up, it's, uh, it's incredibly good feeling. Um, matter of fact, the system works so well that it's really, really hard to go back to the car, you know, mm. after that. It's, it's kind of addictive. So which speed and science uh, headsets are suitable for that kind of conversion, Mark? Uh, this will work with both uh, speed and science shovel head and punch shovel headsets. Mark, how does this affect existing customers with our own uh, Speed and Science heads? Ha! Good news. Um, the existing any existing headset can be modified um, to accept uh, a couple sensors and, and all that needed to uh, for this conversion. So basically, if you have a set headset uh, that you use right now uh, with a carp and you want this, uh, you want to convert this to EFI. Just send it back to us, we'll do the changes, send it back to you. So when we plan to release this product, Mark, uh, as far as the actual components needed in the, the kit that we'll be offering? Um, since pretty much all the testing has been completed, we estimate to have something released in a, in a month or two. As far as the kit itself is concerned, uh, for sure we'll include a new um, EFI intake manifold, so it's something like this. Um, this is the manifold uh, adapted to uh, accept injectors and sensors and all that. A fuel rail uh, will also include um, a trigger wheel, um, hull sensor mounting plate and all that. Uh, of course, it's going to come uh, with a basic tune, um, so that itself you know, is worth a lot. Uh, depending on the market response, we can also include uh, the actual ECU, um, the wiring harness, um, sensors, uh, throttle body, etc., etc., etc. Again, this is a very, very advanced project. It's not something that can be completed in one afternoon with you know a couple of bodies and a, and a six pack. Uh, but at the same time, this is something that will make your bike truly, truly unique and, and yeah. standing out like, like nothing else. Um, so if you want to be really, really different, 
while enjoying the benefits of the, uh, the fuel injectant injection, talk to us, call us, and we'll make it happen. Thanks, Mark. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.